Welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you my CD collection and my Xbox 360 game collection. Now to start off I will be showing you all of my CDs and I'll be telling you their story and how I got them. And then I'll be showing you all my Xbox 360 games and telling you the story of how I got them. So first of all let's get into it. We got Have Yourself a Very Merry Little Christmas. Uh, it's a nice little CD I got. It was 75p, I believe. It comes with an array of Christmas songs. I brought this back in September because I really like Christmas songs. Yeah, I'm one of those people that you will find watching Christmas songs, uh, or sorry, listening to Christmas songs uh, all year round. So, next up, we have now 100 Hits 80s, um, which was a, I believe it was my 18th birthday present. Uh, so yeah, that's really cool. That's a hundred songs, um, which is awesome. One of my favourite CDs ever. I've had this for quite a few years now. Um, next up, we have the Grease soundtrack. This was also part of the same present I got that in. Um, yeah, just it was a, another present. Next up, we have a groovy kind of sax. Uh, and that is because, I, the reason I brought this is because I love saxophone music and uh, I love jazz. And uh, so yeah, quite a nice bit of music. Next up we have John Barrowman, Music, Music, Music. Uh, the reason I brought this is because I was in a charity shop and I saw the CD and I absolutely adore John Barrowman. Uh, from Doctor Who to Torchwood and all those other shows and stuff, absolutely love him. Um, yeah. I got it for a pound. Really good, really good deal. Next up, we have Queen Greatest Hits number two. Although I believe we open it up, it's actually Queen Greatest Hits number three. Now, this was again another present. The reason Greatest Hits number three is in box number two is because I lost number two sadly, um, and lost the case for number three, so I put that in there. Um, now this was another gift from my mother. It um, wasn't like a birthday or anything, it was just a gift, and it was the Queen Greatest Hits Collection 1, 2, and 3. Another great edition. Next up we have Queen Greatest Hits 1, and I believe this came in the same package as Greatest Hits 2. Um, now obviously this is a legendary CD, it's the Greatest Hits of Queen, my favourite band. But yeah. Uh, next up we move on to the classical section. Now I I like classical music, I don't love it. Uh, but I do like classical music, so I brought these CDs. Uh, we have the Classical Collection, uh, featuring Debussy. Debussy? I, I can't pronounce that. Uh, next up, we have the Mozart Collection. Uh, I saw this, uh, I think it was 75p, um, and obviously Mozart is a historically famous musician, so I had to pick it up and listen to some of his stuff, and it is brilliant. <clears throat> Next up, we have uh, the best of Glenn Miller and his orchestra. Uh, I brought this because it featured Moonlight Serenade, um, which is one of my favourite pieces by Glenn Miller, uh, because it also featured in an episode of Doctor Who. Next up, we have the Beethoven Symphonies 1 to 9 uh, Hanover Band in original instruments. It's a five CD set. Um, this is every symphony Beethoven ever wrote, um, and this was, I believe it was £2, it was brilliant, absolutely marvellous, obviously again Beethoven uh, is another classical artist and musician, um, and I, I saw this and I thought I had to get it. Now last but not least for CDs we have, and this is a brilliant box set, um, the classic Hall of Fame Gold, now this comes with Hall of Fame movies uh, or soundtrack from movies. So John Williams, uh, Wagner, Howard Shaw, all those lovely people. The box is really nice as well. The same with that one actually, and the one I just showed you. Um, and this comes with Hall of Fame at the movies, Hall of Fame at the opera, and Hall of Fame classics. So that was my CD collection. Now next up we have my Xbox Games collection. The only the reason I have an Xbox 360 is because one it is because one it is cheaper uh, and two most of the games were actually better in my opinion on the Xbox 360. So 
first up we have obviously the Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim legendary game uh, will go down in history as probably one of the greatest games uh what's new CD? no of all time next up we have Assassin's Creed Black Flag one of the most popular versions of the game now the reason I brought this uh, is because I was looking to get into the Assassin's Creed games um I think this was last year I was looking to get into the Assassin's Creed games and I was asking the workers in their opinion uh, what the best 360 Assassin's Creed game they have was and it was Black Flag and ever since I played it I have loved it um, uh, I think I'm, I'm like at the beginning of the story not the very beginning um, but like I don't know yeah I'm midway through the story about uh, brilliant game exploration is fantastic um, the amount to do is brilliant the collectibles everything is awesome uh, so yeah my favorite part is building a ship uh, and being able to it was like it's like Pirates of the Caribbean it's if you've loved Pirates of the Caribbean I would highly suggest you pick up this game next up on our list we have Assassin's Creed Rogue um, now again I was looking into Assassin's Creed games and the one that was most like Black Flag was Assassin's Creed Rogue. Now I have heard a lot of people say that I haven't played this yet but I, I have heard a lot of people say this is a poor man's Black Flag but nonetheless it's an Assassin's Creed game so I bought it. haven't played it yet um, but I'm looking forward to. Um, all right, next up on our list we have Assassin's Creed Revelations. Now again this is another Assassin's Creed game that I wanted to buy it was cheap. Um, I've not played too much into it because the trolls are a bit funny. The you know I'm used to the black flag controls, but uh, but yeah, uh, I've played a couple of missions and uh, it's it's an alright game so far. Um, not one of the strongest Assassin's Creed games, of course. Uh, but what can you do? So next up we have again probably one of the greatest games of all time, and that would be Grand Theft Auto Five. Um, I've played a few of the missions. Uh, and I mean, obviously, it's Grand Theft Auto Five. It's it's just fun either way. You get to mess around and do as you wish. Um, I should mention before we go any further into this list that I also do have Lego Dimensions, but currently that is put away um, in a storage box. I can't be asked to pull it out. So yeah, Lego Dimensions to the list. Brilliant game. Hours of gameplay. Next up, we have Harry Potter. Lego Harry Potter. Years one, two, four. Obviously, this is a childhood classic for me. Uh, I can always remember playing this, not this exact copy, but this on the DS. Um, yeah, it's always been a part of my childhood and I always loved the Lego games. Next up, we have two copies of Fallout 3. Um, one where I've played a couple of missions and the other one I haven't. I can't remember which is which. But yeah, I mean, Fallout 3 is a, is a, is a great game, you know, exploration and all, and all that. It's... Brilliant game. Next up, we have Dead Island. Um, it's a fun game. Bit of a just a zombie masher, really. There's not really much to it. It got boring after a while. Uh, I've not played it since. I've done a, a few missions. Um, but yeah, it got boring after a while. I don't really play it anymore. Uh, next up, we have Alien. Alien. Co Colonel? Marines, Extermination Edition. I don't know. I got this off uh, a friend of mine. They didn't play it anymore. I've yet to play it because I've not found the time. Uh, but yeah, super excited to play it because I love the Alien films. Uh, we have another copy. Uh, only this is limited edition. Um, so yeah, that's cool. Limited edition. All that does. But yeah. Next up, we have. EA Sports MMA, um, which is just wrestling and all that stuff. Not played it yet, um, but I'm sure it's a fun game. Can't wait to give it a try. Again, not found the time. Uh, now, I was actually given to this because I'm currently uh, in a sort of, you know, in a weird like place, in, as you've probably seen by my room tour. Um, but you have workers here, and there's like a little reception and desk. And uh, I was going into their basement, um, and someone, some old resident, left this behind, and so I was able to take it. They dropped it for me. 
Next up, we have two worlds, which I bought three years ago, I believe. I never got around to playing it, and I, don't, I doubt I'll ever will. Um, last but not least, we have Saints Row the Third. I bought this game because it was open world, and I love open world games, uh, mostly for the exploration, but then I played one mission, and I just didn't like it at all. Um, so yeah, that was the last of my Xbox games collected. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have no idea what I'm going to do next. I have nothing planned. Um, I don't know when the next upload will be. Probably next week. I have no clue. Um, I'll tell you what, though. My Doctor Who reviews will be starting uh, in a couple of weeks. I just got to get settled here first. Um, and then I'll start on the first episode, Rose. And then it'll be a weekly thing from there on. I'll watch an episode, write down my notes, my thoughts, and then I'll share with you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys uh, in the next video. Goodbye.